Axel and Lethner are driving along a motorway. They see a road sign. The road sign shows the distance to Junction 8. It also shows the average time drivers take to get to Junction 8. So here's the information here. So we see to get to Junction 8, it's 30 miles, and that on average takes a driver 26 minutes. The speed limit on the motorway is 70 miles an hour. And Lethner says, we will have to drive faster than the speed limit to drive 30 miles in 26 minutes. Is Lethner right? And we need to show how we get to our answer. So first, we're going to have a look at what 70 miles an hour means. So 70 miles per hour means you can travel 70 miles in 60 minutes. So it's miles per hour, and an hour is 60 minutes. So you can travel 70 miles in one hour, so 70 miles in 60 minutes. So using this, we can work out what speed 30 miles in 26 minutes represents. So to work out what this is in miles an hour, we need to change this to say in 60 minutes, because it's in miles per hour. So we need to work out what you multiply 26 by to get to 60. And we can do that divided by 60 by 26. So if we do 60 divided by 26, and because it's a calculator paper, we can just put that into the calculator. And because it's a long decimal number, I'm just going to write it as a fraction. So we've got 30 over 13. So this means if we times 26 by 30 over 13, we get 60. So now what we can do is sort of treat this a bit like a ratio. So we've got a ratio of 30 miles to 26 minutes. But what we're going to do, we're going to get the ratio to be in 60 minutes. And we're going to use our multiplier we just worked out here. So just to check that we got it right, we're going to start with our minutes first. We're going to have 26 times by our multiplier here, 30 over 13. And that gets 60, as we would expect. So we know we've worked that out right. And now we can also um, now multiply our miles part by our multiplier we worked out. So we're going to have 30 multiplied by our multiplier, which is 30 over 13. And that gives us 900 over 13. And we're going to write that as a decimal. So that's going to give us 69.23, um, rounding that to two decimal places. Okay, cool. So if we think about this, this is our minutes. So it's in 60 minutes. And these are our miles. So writing this sort of out here in a sentence, you can go 69.23 miles in 60 minutes which is 69.23 miles per hour. So now finally, we need to make a conclusion um, related to the statement, we will have to drive faster than the speed limit to drive 30 miles in 26 minutes. Well, the answer is no, you won't have to drive faster than the speed limit because the speed limit is 70 miles an hour. And we've just worked out it's possible to do that distance in that many minutes going 69.23 miles an hour, which is less than the speed limit of 70 miles an hour. So to get the mark, we need to write that in some sort of conclusion. So I've written it as my conclusion here, 69.23 miles an hour is less than 70 miles an hour. So no, Lethner is wrong. And it's important here to say the word no, because we need to look back at the question. We always need to remember to answer the question when we have to do a statement like this. We're answering the question, is Lethner right? And the answer is no, and this is why. So if we look to see where we get the marks, we get one mark here for working out this multiplier. We get another mark here for using that to work out this number here, so 69.23. So we know it's going to be 69.23 miles an hour. Then we got our final mark here for a conclusion, something along these lines.